I managed to conjure a hedgehog once. All right, Halos, welcome back. Um, I, at the time of this recording, I'm not sure if I've released that previous video where I was having a little bunch of choppiness and uh, drop frames, but um, I restarted the computer, messed with a couple settings. Hopefully, it's better. Um, if it's not, then I'm very sorry about that. But uh, it is what it is, I guess, right? Um, it was working the first few parts pretty well overall, I'd say. But um, yeah, definitely, definitely some problems. Either way. Um, I lowered some settings and stuff, so it's probably going to look a little bit worse, but we'll, we'll try to continue on without a problem. Um, if you did miss it for whatever reason, I finished a little side quest over here with, uh, I think her name was Casita, with her, is her, her play pages just flying around in the library, basically. Um, but yeah, we are, is that a floating feather? Nice. Um, let's go ahead and head to uh, the good old main quest now, since it's the only thing pretty much left. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and track it, and let's head to it. Uh, it looks like it wants to go out this direction, so let's head this way. Oh, wait, where's this? Oh, hello. Should we try it? Let's do it, let's do it. Uh, where's the other one? Maybe over there. Alright, so, uh, this one is the single question mark. So, 11 plus 2. Uh, so, 13, right? And then the other name number equals that, that 21. So 13 plus what equals 21? 8, right? 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. E, wait, no, 7, I think. 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this one should be that guy right there. Oh, wait, what? Oh, I must have messed that up. Hold on. Wait, what? 11 plus 2 is 13. Oh, no, it is 8. Wait, what? What am I doing? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, okay, so it's the spider. My bad. It was 8. Alright, so I'm assuming the other one's over here, right? Rebellion. No? Where's this other one then? Oh, hello. Well, I guess I haven't. I guess I hadn't explored this area yet. Uh, either way, where is the second one? Oh, it's probably up there. Uh, well, first let's get the the, the answer, of course. Um, so, um, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine plus five is fourteen, and then so you just need a three for seventeen. So we need the little three-headed dragon thingy. <clears throat> there we go. That should be the answer. Alright. Um, unless I'm unaware, it seems to be running alright so far, so that's good. Alright, we got our uh, our nice chest, blue leather gloves, and collection updated. Alright, cool. Either way, let's continue on to uh, what we were doing. Continue on to our class, shall we? Rebellion. Yeah, I was gonna say, I bet there's a, bet there's a little page for this guy. What is this? Uh, Wyvern Fountain. Nice. The fountain of the in the Transfiguration Courtyard has a likeness of a wyvern on top, and uh, serves as a relaxing place for students to gather. Despite rumors to the contrary, pro possibly started by Sir Cadogan, this is most assuredly not meant to be the wyvern of Y, um, slain by the lively, lively knight in spite of himself. Interesting. And the flu flames I haven't discovered. That's useful. Uh, Alright, let's go in here. Rebellion. Got anything important? Or useful? Like some... Some free pages? Aha, here we go. Uh, painting of Ilias. This painting depicts the young orphan wizard uh, Ilias, who famously saved his entire village from an army of Demeters and the dark wizard Raz... Raxidian? Rex, Raxidian? By, uh, conjuring a mouse Patronus. <laughs> Rebellion. Alright, um... Then it's not on your nose. I thought you'd want to know. <laughs> okay. Didn't realize that guy was alive. Alright. 
Um, anyways, what's this? Surely there's a. Unless we've already got this. I feel like we might have already gotten that. I was going to say, surely there's a, a field page for that, but I don't see one immediately, at least. Alright, looks like this is where it wants, we want to go. Uh, Defense Against the Dark Arts class. Let's go ahead and discover that real quick. Anything over there that we can quickly grab? Doesn't seem like it. Alright. That's kind of whispering, kind of creepy. Alright, let's be on the quest. <laughs> Is that all you've got? Uh, oh, Professor Hecket! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. <laughs> to the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. An unspeakable? Okay, uh, Levioso, let's do it. Nice. Levioso. Now, let's try something a little larger. Straight. Let All right. Begin what is it? A basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak opponent. As Master Pruitt. Levioso. Now, well done. Oh, I should have should have let her uh, finish talking. My bad. Good, but the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. This Levioso. Good form. I know. This can't be your first duel. Let's just say I'm a prince. I do enjoy a life of duel. Levioso. All of my students for this event. Use the basic cost when your opponent's guard is down. Did I win? <laughs> Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Ravenclaw. <laughs> Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right, sweet. 
All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. All right, looks like we got a couple more people we can talk with, just kind of like the previous parts. If you know the right spells, it's dark wizards that'll fear you, not the other way around. I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel. <laughs> All right. Always thought Levioso was for first years. Not anymore. You've drilled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. Thank you. Oh, hello. Revelio. Uh, Hebridian Black Skeleton. I think I said that right. Uh, this large dragon skeleton that hangs in the defense against the Dark Arts classroom is allegedly a trophy taken by Professor Hecate after she single-handedly defeated one of the largest poaching rings in Eastern Wales during the Great Poacher Raid of 1878. <clears throat> Alright. Looks like there's some chests below us somewhere. But... Alright, another lock. That's fine. There's someone who can talk to over there. Um, you can probably talk to her as well in here in a second. We'll see. I'm not much for dueling. I prefer to keep things friendly. Oh, fair enough, fair enough. Is there anything I can play with in here? Some of my stuff. I don't know. Anyways, let's nice talk to this work. guy. Thank you. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. Uh, I've had my share of wand combat. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh, fair enough. You owe me an honest duel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive unsanctioned dueling organization um sounds intriguing exclusive and unsanctioned count me in excellent knew i was right about you if you want to get the most out of your time at hogwarts you're going to need to break the rules now and then mm -mm. whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library you just have to be clever enough not to get caught Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Hmm. I mean, it's probably Until something we shouldn't time. do just because it's against the rules, but. Quest complete. Nice. Defense against the Dark Arts. Quest available. All right, cool. Uh, yeah, let's, let's see what we got. Uh, oh, I went to the wrong thing. Sorry. Let's go here. Is this the clock clock clock, clock, clock tower thing? I guess we'll track that real quick. Oh, that's cool. You can kind of go and change the view a little bit. Um. I mean, there's no other quests so far that I've seen, so I'm assuming that's what it wants to do. Uh, let's also check out some of this other stuff. Aha, here we go. That's our main quest. Okay. Well, um, I guess let's go ahead and do that real quick. Uh, I think I think we'll go ahead and do that in the rest of, uh, I mean, in part of this video, and then we can kind of go from there. Let's check out our collections real quick. Looks like we have a notification of some sort. Uh, oh, hello. Decorations in the game PlayStation's conjured in the room of requirement. Oh, okay. I guess just some stuff we unlocked. Um, Revelio pages. Oh, yes. Oh, so these are the pages, I guess. Okay, gotcha. At least, more or less. Uh, we have the gear as well. We could, we could do some stuff. Uh, handwear. Sure, let's do some blue gloves. I like blue. Blue's a good color. Uh, face wear. <laughs> Look kind of weird. I think I'll go with without glasses for now, but thank you. 
put a hat on if we want. That's kind of neat, honestly. Ah, sure, we'll do that. We'll, just, we'll do it for now. Uh, what else do we have? Neckwear. We got a scarf we can put on. Sure, why not? Why not? Cloaks and robes. Got a silk robe. Sure. And we do a whole outfit, it looks like. Defen oh, these actually raise our defense as well. That's interesting. You can also sell them, it looks like. Okay. I mean, yeah, we'll get the, the best stuff. So does this give us... Oh, it does. It does give us offense and stuff as well. Okay. This doesn't give you anything, but you can sell it. This gives us defense 5, so I guess we should probably... Should probably do the nightcap. This is a little bit better. It looks kind of weird though. I don't really want to look bad, but hey, it's fine. This gives us six more offense. Nice. The face wear doesn't give us anything, does it? Oh, it does. Wow. Gives us six. All right. Well, I guess we're gonna look super weird, but hey, it's worth it. Look at our look at our stats now. Let's go. All right. Well, uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and. Head to that bonus quest, and then we'll talk to um, Weasley after a bit. Professor Weasley, after we're done with that. Looks like it wants us to head this way. So we shall do that. Oh, hello. Revelio. That's kind of interesting looking. It's a great, great song. Guide page, uh, augury skeleton, or something like that. Um, this is a skeleton of an Irish phoenix or augury, an intensely shy bird who can forecast the coming of rain and whose mournful cry was once believed to foretell death. Oh, okay. Interesting. Ooh, there's another one of these guys. Should we do it real fast? I think we should. Where's this at? Looks familiar. Um,. Kind of looks like the ground floor of this, right? Have I discovered this yet? Yes. Um, yeah, it kind of looks like the ground floor to me. Let's check down here. Actually, it might be this one. No, it's not. It's not. Revelio. Is it anywhere around here? see it so far in terms of Revelia. It's gotta be in here somewhere though. Revelio. Maybe over here? We haven't gone here yet. Sure. Where is it again? It's got a couple pillars and a bit of a hallway or something. Lumos. And we've got obviously some tapestry or something on the walls. No, actually. I kind of want to do that though real quick. Maybe I'll get a little sidetracked here for a second. It's down here if anything. Rebellion. <laughs> um, I've got another Lumos. one here as well. Do you mind where you're stepping? Oh, this is kind of weird. Rebellion. Um, <clears throat> pungent passage. This passage is relatively nondescript as far as passages go. Uh, however, the mishandling of a crop of m Mimbulus Mimbletonia uh, in the 16th century and the accompanying uh, tsunami of stink sap left it with a rancid odor that even the strongest scouring charm cannot seem to eradicate. Alright. Collect rewards. Good. Let's look at the 
blue flames. Rebellion. Uh huh. Here's this one. Nice. Hadn't been in here yet, actually. Well, let's let's put this one back real quick. Rebellion. Nice. Give me, give me. Nice. Did we unlock anything? It said we got something there for a minute. Uh, obviously, we had that. Does that no? We have to scroll over it to get rid of the notification. All right. Fair enough. Check our gear. Yeah, we did get something. Um, oh, can we not equip it yet? Oh, we have to be level 7. Okay, interesting. We are level 6. Almost level 7. Gotcha, okay. Interesting. Well, anyways, uh, let's try to finish this little guy, wherever it was. And then from there we can figure out what we want to do. Let's try going up. Maybe it's up here. Lumos. Lumos. Yeah, this is the one I'm looking for. Where is that, though? Not through here, right? This is outside, I think. Is that? Yeah. I don't think it's through there. It's too far away. Rebellion. Maybe higher up? It might be, actually. This looks somewhat right. Aha! Lumos. Here it is. Rebellion. Is there anything in here, by the way, of use? Lumos. Cool. Yeah, I've been here before, actually. Been a minute though. Alright, let's take this back down to its little painting and then I think we'll end the video there. Uh, we can continue on the next part. Alright. Oh, I kind of missed it. Mess. Went the wrong way, but it's fine. It's right up here. Rebellion. A little bit laggy. Alright. What we got, what we got. So get page. Okay, uh, I think there was one other thing that I wanted to check out real quick. The challenge is having a notification here, so let's go ahead and see. Yeah, we got uh, we got this gear and this looks like gear appearance reward. Oh, this is two of twenty-five. So we haven't unlocked that one yet, but it's fine. Um, and then I think that was where was what was that? Uh, challenges. What did we have to unlock? Hogwarts regalia hat. Gear appearance reward, okay. So it's a hat. I don't know, because we haven't unlocked it. Confusion. <laughs> Alright, well, anyways. Uh, it's fine. Let's check out collections, because we got another uh, thing here. Oh, it's just appearance, okay. Change appearance option in the gear menu. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. How do you change that then? F. Oh, okay. F to change appearance. Well, that's kind of cool. <laughs> what the heck? Alright, well, I guess I'll do like something like that. That's fine. <clears throat> so yeah, even if you don't like the thing, you can kind of, the color or whatever, you can kind of change it. I think this one's fine. Uh, this one I would probably like to change, though. That's kind of neat. You can do that one. That one's not bad, actually. It's kind of fancy. A little bit girlish, though. Oh, that's cool. It moves. I like that. That's kind of neat as well. Oh, I guess you can just do none as well. Invisible headwear. Urchin hat. Uh, I think I'll rock with this one, actually. And in terms of the, f the eyewear, we can just do none. 
because I don't really want any anyway. Sweet, and then I can change the appearance on this stuff as well. That's pretty cool. Pretty neat. Uh, yeah, I think I'll go with this one actually. Oh, that is really cool. Merlin's cloak. Oh, that's cool. It, it moves the dark arts rope. Okay. Charms, professor, traditional, nice, rugged, blisterous emerald. I think we'll go with the the Merlin on that. Looks super cool. <laughs> and then uh, outfit, I guess. Cobalt. Can't really see it super well, honestly, but um. I guess we'll go with that one. All right. Well, uh, that's going to be it for this part. Thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. We're going to do another save here, and then uh, we'll catch you in the next part. Uh, yeah. See you guys later. Peace.